Many American citizens have been wondering whether it is the best decision to withdraw American military forces from Iraq. Is it too soon or too late? Some people are on the fence while others think this should have been done a long time ago. Regardless, it is one of the biggest decisions President Obama will ever have to make. With every war in the history of mankind comes a price. The price of a life has many American civilians questioning if there's any reason for their loved ones to be risking their lives every single day. The wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have proved to be fatal with staggering statistics. There has been more than 7,000 American casualties related to the Iraq and Afghanistan wars. Over 10,000 civilians of the native countries have lost their lives as a result of the war. The war in Afghanistan has passed the Vietnam War for the longest war in United States history. Due to the U.S. invasion of Iraq, 1.5 million civilians and terrorists have been killed. In Iraq, U.S. military casualties are approaching 4,500, but only 3,500 were resulting from combat. Although millions have lost their life as a result of these two wars, some troops have survived their injuries. Of the estimated 100,000 troops wounded, 30% have developed mental health problems, and 20% have developed serious brain or spinal injuries. As many of these troops survive their injuries, their life will never be the same. The wounded, these wounded veterans will never be able to re function independently or on a daily basis. As the staggering, staggering number of deaths due to the war overwhelm American civilians, the economic cost may be more breathtaking. The wars in, Af in Iraq and Afghanistan have cost the United States an estimated $3.7 trillion. This number is approaching four trillion for ten years of war. Four trillion is almost one third of the nation's debt. People wonder where all this money could be spent. Most of it is split between military operations, base security, reconstruction, foreign aid, embassy costs, and veterans' health care. As these numbers are high, there have been improvement. Spending in Iraq has dropped from 7.9 billion to 6.2 billion which is a 20% drop. Troop strength has dropped roughly 30% from 141,000 to 96,000. Although Iraq troop levels decline, Afghanistan troop levels rise. There are numerous benefits of withdrawing military for forces that far outweigh the cons of withdrawal. The world opinion of the United States has been altered as a result of the war. Foreign countries view the United States as war hawks that fight this to uh, get what they want. Withdrawing from Iraq would not only save millions of dollars, it would save thousands of lives. The United States need their military forces for things they cannot control. North Korea and Iran are at unrest and the United States could be ready for an attack. There is a dwindling number of forces available for natural disaster relief. One never knows when another terrorist attack could hit the United States and the stronger the National Guard is, the stronger the defense system the nation is equipped with. There are a couple of journalists that provide a unique perspective on the wars. Alex Kingsburg, an American journalist, talks about withdrawing U.S. troops. He says they need to cut strategically, meaning cutting from one country ref reflects the amount they can cut from another. He also says that cutting foreign bases will not save money because the cost of stationing troops in one base in Iraq can cost the same amount of money to station troops in, in the United States. Kingsburg also notes that removing military forces from ally nations will only strengthen their defense system. With the U.S. having troops in ally nations, there is no reason for them to have a defense system. For instance, since the terror attacks on 9-11, the United States have implemented hundreds of bases in seven countries. If only a fraction of these bases were abandoned, millions of dollars would be saved. As a whole, the war is not only affecting soldiers and their families, but the whole population. To provide funds from the military and government has cut funds for education, health care, and the environment. I think stopping this war as soon as possible is the only way for the United States can win. They can win the people back, the soldiers, and be content with the freedom they have. The war has damaged millions of lives, and there is no way to fix that.
However, ending the war sooner than later can prevent future lives from being damaged.